Let's start with the basics. Your phone number is the most important string of digits you own. It's not just a way to reach you, it's a key that can unlock almost everything about your digital life. In this video, you'll learn how investigators trace a person's digital footprint using just a phone number, and more importantly, how to protect yourself. Step one is the reverse lookup. This is the essential starting point for uncovering the identity behind a phone number. Whether you're investigating a suspicious call, verifying a contact, or simply curious about who's on the other end, reverse lookup is your go-to tool. It's a process that transforms a string of digits into real, actionable information. By entering a phone number, you can often reveal a name, address, and sometimes even more identifiers like email addresses or social media profiles. This is the first step in piecing together the bigger picture. Always use the full international format, including the country code, for best results. This ensures your search isn't limited by region and increases the chances of finding accurate data, especially if the number could be from another country. Start with big engines like Truecaller, NumLookup, and Sync.me. These platforms have vast databases and are often the first stop for investigators and everyday users alike. Each service has unique data. One might show a name, another a photo, another a carrier. No single lookup tool is perfect, so it's important to check several to maximize your findings. Chain lookups across multiple services to build a more complete picture. By comparing results, you can spot inconsistencies or confirm details, making your investigation more reliable. Cross-reference results to fill in gaps and confirm details. Keep organized notes. Jot down every name, photo, or carrier you find and see how the information lines up across platforms. Remember, some services are stronger in certain regions. For example, Truecaller might have extensive data from Asia, while a US-centric service covers North America. Use this to your advantage by targeting your search based on the number's origin. Collect every detail, name, photo, carrier, location, and any other identifiers you uncover. The more data points you gather, the clearer the picture becomes. This is your foundation for deeper investigation. With a solid base of information, you can move forward with confidence, knowing you've started with the best available data. The goal is simple, turn anonymous digits into a tangible lead. Every detail you uncover brings you closer to understanding who's behind the number. Now, let's connect the dots and see where this information trail leads. With these basics mastered, you're ready to dive deeper into the world of digital investigation. Step two, social media correlation. In today's digital world, almost everyone leaves a trail on social media, whether they realize it or not. This step is all about connecting the dots between a phone number and a person's online identity. Start by saving the number to your contacts. This simple action unlocks a powerful set of tools. Many messaging apps like Telegram, WhatsApp, and Signal automatically scan your contacts and reveal which users are already on their platforms. If the person uses any of these apps, you'll often see their profile photo, username, and sometimes even their status or last seen time appear instantly. This can give you immediate clues about their identity, interests, or even their current activity. Next, use the Find Friends or Add Contacts features on platforms like Facebook and Instagram. These tools cross-reference your contacts with their user database, sometimes surfacing hidden or private profiles that are linked to the number you're investigating. Don't forget about specialized apps like Get Contact. This app lets you see how other users have tagged the number, sometimes revealing nicknames, job titles, or even relationships. These tags can offer surprising insights into how the person is known in different circles. By combining these methods, you can transform a simple phone number into a rich web of social context, a face, a username, and a network of connections. At this point, you're not just tracking a number anymore, you're uncovering the digital footprint of a real person, complete with their online habits and social circles. Be methodical. Check each app and service for new clues. Sometimes a small detail on one platform can unlock a bigger discovery on another. Every match, every new piece of information, adds another layer to the profile you're building. The more platforms you check, the clearer the picture becomes. Social media is where the investigation truly leaps forward turning a single phone number into a gateway to someone's digital life. This is where your search can really take off. Step three, scan data breach and leak databases. This is a crucial phase in any digital investigation as it allows you to uncover information that may have been exposed in past security incidents. 
data breaches happen more often than you might think, and the information leaked can be incredibly revealing. Start by using Have a Bin PU Wand, a free and widely trusted resource. Enter the phone number you're investigating to check if it appears in any major breaches. This site aggregates data from hundreds of breaches, making it a powerful first stop for anyone looking to see if their information, or someone else's, has been compromised. For more in-depth research, consider using paid tools like Dehashed or Snoozespace. These platforms go beyond the basics, offering access to a wider range of breach data, including some that aren't available on free sites. They can be invaluable for professional investigations or when you need to dig deeper. With these tools, you can often uncover not just whether a number was involved in a breach, but also associated emails, usernames, and sometimes even passwords. This information can help you build a more complete profile of the person you're researching. Finding a username is a major breakthrough. Many people reuse the same usernames across multiple platforms, which means a single discovery can lead you to profiles on social media, forums, or other online services. Use the emails and usernames you find to search for the person elsewhere online. Try plugging them into search engines, social networks, or even specialized people search tools. Each new piece of data can open up additional avenues for investigation. This process is known as username correlation. By connecting the dots between different pieces of leaked data, you can uncover new leads and build a web of connections that reveals much more than any single data point could. Always start with free resources like Have I Been P. Yund to get a sense of what's out there, then move on to professional tools for raw, unfiltered data if you need to go further. Look for any emails, usernames, or passwords tied to the number. Each one is a potential clue that can help you trace the person's online activity and connections. By piecing together this information, you're not just uncovering their public life, you're delving into their digital history, revealing patterns and connections that might otherwise remain hidden. Remember, each breach is a potential goldmine of connections. The more breaches you check, the more likely you are to find valuable links that can take your investigation to the next level. Step 4. Google Dorking Use advanced search operators to find hidden mentions of the number. Search the number in quotes for exact matches. Combine with file type PDF, file type doc, or file type Excels to find documents. Use site-linkedin.com or site-facebook.com to search specific platforms. Combine operators for surgical precision. Cite someforum.com in text number name. This uncovers forum posts, resumes, and public records. Google dorking is about creative, targeted searching. It's an art. Think about where the info might be hiding. The right query can reveal what a basic search never would. Step 5. Carrier and CNAM lookups. Use HLR lookup APIs or NumVerify to get real-time carrier info, line type, and country. This tells you if the number is active, ported, or a disposable VoIP. CNAM lookups reveal the official name registered to the number, sometimes a business or legal name. Compare this with social media results for confirmation. These lookups add technical certainty to your findings. It's about verifying and clarifying, not just collecting. Carrier and CNAM data are the backbone of a reliable profile. Now you know what the phone company knows. Step 6. OSINT aggregators and people search engines. Plug the number, name, or email into services like Pipple, Spokio, or Bean Verified. These tools compile public records, addresses, relatives, and social profiles into a single dossier. They connect data points that would take days to find manually. Always cross-verify. Aggregators can mix up people with similar names. Use property records or social media to confirm addresses and relationships. Treat every new lead as a clue, not a fact, until verified. Aggregators give you the map. You still need to check the landmarks. This step ties your findings together. Step 7. Image and Metadata Correlation Use reverse image search tools like Google Lens, TinEye, or Yandex to find where a profile photo appears elsewhere. This can link the person to other social accounts or websites. If you find an original photo, download it and check for EXIF metadata using EXIF tool. Metadata can reveal the date, camera model, and sometimes GPS coordinates. GPS tags can pinpoint exact locations, home, work, or travel spots. Even camera details can hint at hobbies or profession. A single image can unlock a wealth of information. Every photo is a potential lead. Images are digital fingerprints. Trace them. Step 8. Active geolocation via messaging apps. Use a service like Grabify to create a tracked link. Send the link to the target through a messaging app or email. If they click, you capture their IP address. 
use an IP geolocation tool to find their city and region. This confirms their current whereabouts, powerful real-time intelligence. Remember, this method is ethical only with proper authorization. Combine this with other data for a clearer picture. Real-time location is a major piece of the puzzle. Step 9. Advanced tracking with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi probes. Requires being physically near the target. Use Wi-Fi adapters and tools like Wireshark to capture probe requests and MAC addresses. Bluetooth scanners like Beetlejack can detect devices broadcasting nearby. Track movement patterns by logging device signals over time. This is the digital equivalent of tailing someone in real life. It's advanced, requires special hardware, and has serious privacy implications. Only use in legitimate, authorized investigations. Step 10. Assembling the digital profile. Correlate all your findings. Names, photos, locations, emails, usernames, and IPs. Use visualization tools like Maltego or Spiderfoot to map connections. Look for patterns. Do names, locations, and usernames match across platforms? Identify frequent locations, close associates, and daily routines. Turn raw data into actionable intelligence. The goal, a coherent, high-confidence digital profile. Information without context is just noise. You're not just collecting facts, you're telling a story. That's how a single phone number can unravel an entire digital life. In 2025, your number is the key to your identity, connecting social media, accounts, and even your location. OSINT is powerful, for good and bad. Understanding it is your best defense. Check your privacy settings, use unique usernames, and guard your number. Every click leaves a trace. Be aware of your digital fingerprint. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more. Stay safe out there.